So we have another package to unbox. Let's have a look inside. Looks like we have another retro shelf to unbox. So it's really well wrapped inside the bowl wrap, inside the cardboard. And we have From Vultures to Vampires, Volume 2, coming. 2005 to 2010, David John Pleasant and Trevor Dickinson. So this is the second part of what is now a three-part series. Volume 2 chronicles the machinations and intricate shell games surrounding the Amiga's ownership from 2005 to 2010. The heated battle for the post-Commodore Amiga crown led to the ongoing development of competing next-generation power PC-based computers and operating systems. As companies faded from the scene, new champions took up the challenge of keeping the Amiga dream alive. The twists and turns involving Commodore's trademarks were more convoluted with repeated opportunistic attempts to control the Commodore brand, something that continues to this day. Circles within circles, wheels within wheels. So originally this was going to be a single volume, but it's now turned into three. So let's have a look inside. From Vultures to Vampires. Dedication there. Forward from Dave McMurray. Disclaimers. Content circle of life. Happy 20th birthday, Amiga. Getting better, it can't get no worse. Powered up, swimming against the tide, breakthrough, a new beginning. So go back. And as before, there's photos and illustrations. Workbench themes from the 20th anniversary bonus pack from the OS4. Okay, Desktop workstation, more hardware coming there. The open desktop workstation. What's happening with more OS? A1C running the Amiga OS 4 pre release. More Trevor's hardware there. Lboxes Dragon 1200 accelerator card. So I'm going to skip through very quickly. Amiga Forever from Clamanto. You're talking about your running mode, help trademarks, more about me, OS4, Good Ventnah, Philips CD910, me, Evo Smart Console, ProCom, AmigaKit.com, so you see. Perhaps not quite as statistic heavy as the first volume, but still there we have more hardware. Hyperion Strikes Back, Commodore's Resurgence, Commodore Navigator, Commodore Media Box, and the Multimedia Tower, Commodore Gaming, Commodore Gravel Pocket Media Player, And we're talking about the power PC based Amigas here. Total Amiga. Come on, the gaming. The Sam A4 TEP production model. There you go. Sam e. Amiga in for sale. Game part GP2X handheld, one of the many systems that emulate Commodore machines. Sound motherboard. More OS 2.0. Amiga OS 4.1. It's been a prototype. And 
make it less four point one. Flat is going to have to read through this to catch up on a lot of stuff that perhaps I didn't know was happening. More OS 2.4 added support for the Mac Mini. That's interesting. Mica 1, I mean, I Mica Atom. Aries 1, Amiga 1 PowerX prototype. Random kit, Amiga for running C64 forever from Grand Tour. A new demo beginning. Vintage Computer Festival. Amiga Paces. Amiga 25th Anniversary Competition, Amiga 1 X1000 advert, and the case design there. An EMAC running R4S2. Celebrations of the 25th Anniversary. The EVIC MP3 player, another product related to Commodore. Commodore Phoenix. PC64 prototype and the Commodore VIX Slim. C64X PC case and an Amiga Mini. My64 and My VIX 20. And the Commodore Pet and Commodore Leo Android phones. I'm sure some Commodore phones out there interested. Commodore 64 reloaded board. Individual computers found molds for C64C and made new molds available, new cases. The original mock ups of the THE64 and the THE64SX. We didn't quite end up with that, but we did end up with the G64, the C64 Mini, and the VIC 20 edition. And some of the sports are sent for computing history in the Home Computer Museum in Belgium, my retro computer, retro computer museum in Leicester, and the Northwest Computer Museum. So there we go, that's the second volume from Vultures to Vampires. Glad that uh, that's finally arrived from David Pleasant and Trevor Dickinson. And keep watching the channel for a quick review once I've read it.